Hello, hello, it's been quite a while since I played Mass Effect 1 and welcome to my first Mass Effect 2 stream. I apologize for being late, uh, it seems like everyone is currently in isolation, so Uber Eats has been bombarded with orders. I have no idea why it took like, what, two hours for the KFC meal to be prepared, but yeah. Apparently that's the state of Australia right now, so not much we can really do about that. Anyways, welcome, welcome. Let's uh, get into it, shall we? Hopefully um, all the stream stuff is uh, okay. Uh, looks like you can import the Mass Effect 1 character, and I'm guessing like the progress will um, transfer over. Nice. John Shepard. Welcome, FK. How's your night been so far, man? <coughs> really looking forward to uh, playing this. Finally playing Mass Effect 2. I've heard so much about it. I've wanted to play it since, like, it came out, and here I am, finally. Um, I think I'll leave all these default. Reminds me when I had to wait over an hour for a waffle. Yeah. Dude, um, apparently they're estimating that we're going to have over a million cases soon. Because apparently that's like the backlog of all the tests for COVID. And yeah, a lot of people are getting it now because Australia has just been like, you know what, we're just going to open everything up. And pretty much like, yeah, everyone's been getting sick. Uh, my throat's actually not bad today. It's just I had KFC, so it's a little bit, um, yeah, how are you going? All right, service history, name, John Shepard, rank 49, military specialization, soldier, psychological profile, follow the Paragon path, assess Rex, Rex survives the mission of Vermeer. Oh, he can actually not survive? Damn. Oh, also, yeah, this is going to have some spoilers for Mass Effect 1 as well for anyone who's just tuning in, so uh, be warned. Um, I chose not to save Ashley, thank goodness I don't like her very much. Council was lost during the attack on the Citadel. Oh yeah, I did that. <laughs> I saved the people, I think it was? Yeah. Or the f- oh, I can't remember what I did, actually. And I recommended Anderson for the seat on the Council. You up to much tonight, AFK, by the way? Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, humanity sees political control of the galaxy. Now, the human-led council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines that erad eradicate all advanced civilizations every 50,000 years. Oh my god, that's really fast. Also, hello, Rosadio. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, man. How have you been doing? Um, I haven't been able to catch your streams lately. One sec. 
Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Presley! Ah! Kinetic barriers down! Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! But it's such a pain, I just gave up until you went live. I was mad, I hope it's been going well. Um, sound is always trying to pain the ass. I've been good, we're a couple of good ago. I apologize, I haven't been to your streams lately. One, I kind of want to play through Yakuza 0 myself, and also I've been sleeping a lot because I actually have COVID now. Um, I'm okay now. Uh, I think um, I got it during like the Christmas period. And like during that time I was kind of a bit run down, but I wasn't sure if it was because of I was drinking or not. But yeah, um, like all of my symptoms are pretty much gone, so yeah. And that's it's good that you've been doing well for him to keep safe and everything. And yeah, it looks like um, they kept my lovely tight uh, white and pink suit from Mass Effect 1, so that's good. I'm just gonna go full bloody... Um, Renegade in this one <laughs> because I just let the council die at the end of the previous one. The damn ball battle. I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. Okay, good order. Get to the damn shuttle. I'll haul Joker's crippled ass out of here. Commander! Get the hell out of here. Oh, I know this guy's my suit. time limit for this but I'm just gonna set up my controls real quick. Just gonna do some um change the mouse sensitivity at the very least. Uh I think I need to turn it down a tad. I'll turn it down like 25%, see how that goes. Uh good thing I'm not muted. Oh looks like someone stole my suit. Uh maybe 35 being renegade in Mass Effect 2 is a lot of fun. Alright, I'll look forward to it. Also, welcome Retro. Um, you're just in time for me to start. How have you been, man? Okay, 
Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I can change to. I did go through it before, but... Um, that one turned me this off. That sounds gross. Okay, that's really fast. Let's uh, let's turn that down a bit. That was one rotation of the trackball, by the way. Uh, maybe like fifteen. That's better. Okay, I'll go with that. Uh, any like Mako controls or anything that I need to know? Of? Doesn't look like it. That's just key bindings. I'll leave that alone. Uh, I'll turn. Did that actually change something? Okay, it's actually making a flash. That's a bit weird. Both the N and the 7 should be visible. Okay, that's good. Alright, excuse the, uh, the settings diving. Let's go. Gonna drag his ass ass out here. Man, I'm a I'm a little bit a little bit upset that the Normandy's going down. That's not a good place to be. Dude, why are you still in here? Shepard played the good cop for all of Mass Effect 1. He's got a lot of pent-up anger. He's also off the uh, simulants as well. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. <laughs> don't be stupid. I'll slap you. The Normandy's her. dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events of Mass Effect 1. Would you like to review the story so far? Uh... <laughs> Roll credits, we did end stream. <laughs> they like banged him against like a bunch of debris, like threw him around in space like a rag doll. They show he's still alive, then his suit starts leaking. You're like, yeah, he'll be okay. Someone's going to pick him up. And then he just fucking, like, flies through the atmosphere. Hmm. Am I going to become a super fighting robot? 
Uh, I guess. Yeah, let's review it. Might be a good refresher for me too, since I'm I've got really bad memory. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long-dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime. And there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof. Which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara, a Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. 
and a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I decided discretion was the better part of valor, and kept my focus on our goal, finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Venezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves. Mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base, and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the Genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control, said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend and a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Caden. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. I'd never tell anyone, but I had my doubts. Leaving Ashley behind had hardened my resolve, but revealed a soft spot in my defenses. How many more friends and allies would I be willing to sacrifice in order to stop Saren? We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. 
The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council could be replaced. The fleets were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. And that's my story. Are we going to become a super soldier? Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. I can change my face. Yeah, I'm pretty enough as already. Okay. Okay, let's have a read through these.
uh, soldier, high level operatives are outfitted with ocular synaptic processes that allow them to focus on targets with lethal accuracy. Man, I've not read out loud in a very long time. Power training, adrenaline rush, concussive shot, weapon training, assault rifle, shotgun, sniper rifle, maybe pistol. Training incendiaries, cry uh, cryo, cryo, disruptor. Uh, soldiers are pure combat specialists. No one's tougher or more effective at taking down enemies with gunfire. Soldiers have the most thorough weapons training and can use all special ammo types. Infiltrators. Infiltrators are equipped with cloaking systems that allow them to avoid detection for short periods of time, granting a tactical, tactical advantage over enemies. Power training. Tactical cloak. Incinerate. AI hacking. Weapon training. Sniper rifle. Heavy pistol. Submachine gun. I think this is the one for me. Um, ammo training cryo disruptor that is a very big scrolling bar for like one line of text infiltrator is a tech and combat specialist with the unique ability to cloak themselves from visual and technological detection infiltrators are deadly at range with a wide variety of weapons equipment and powers that can take down any enemy vanguards are outfitted with L5N implants enabling them to perform a a biotic charge that strikes the opponents with incredible force while bringing the vanguard in close for short range combat. This is the shotgun, yep. That didn't even scroll at all. Uh, we've got biotic charge, pull, shock wave. Cool. Uh, shotgun, heavy pistol, submachine gun, and century cryo. Vanguards are feared for the high risk, high reward combat style, closing quickly on enemies and destroying them at close range with weapons and biotic abilities. Uh, judging from my track record from Mass Effect 1, I don't think this is a good class for me. I'll just get melted. Sentinels are equipped with the most advanced uh, ablation system, armor system, to keep themselves safe. If overloaded, the system will sh uh, stun all enemies within short distance. Huh. They don't have much in terms of weapons, but they've got tech armor, throw, warp, overload, and cryoblast. Sentinels are unique, bringing both tech and biotic abilities to the battlefield. While they lack the focus of adepts and engineers, they are versatile and can handle any situation. So that's like a mix between these two. Like Soldier is a mix between those two. A hybrid, I should say. Adepts are outfitted with L5X implants that can spawn a micro singularity, damaging enemies and pulling them into the air. Singularity, warp throw, Pull, shockwave, that actually sounds pretty cool. Um, heavy pistol, submachine gun, biotics, uh, adepts are biotic specialists, capable of disabling and killing enemies with raw biotic power. While they lack advanced combat training, they are the best at defeating weapons without firing a shot. That doesn't sound like it's for me though. Engineers can spawn combat drones to harass enemies or force them out of entrenched cover positions. That sounds okay. It would be nice if there was like... Oh wait, there is a squad, isn't there? Combat Drone, Overload, Incinerate, AI Hacking, Cryoblast. Heavy Pistol, Machine Gun. Engineers are Tech Specialists, the only class able to employ Combat Drones on the battlefield. Engineers are the most effective class at blasting through enemy defenses and disabling opponents. Nice. I think I will go with Infiltrator. Because I used uh, sniper rifles a lot in Mass Effect 1. So, yeah. Same old Shepard. Probably scratching at his forearms on this very screen. Hey, Monica, something's wrong. It's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. <sighs> Oh my god, Miranda. I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stat's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Heart rate dropping. Staff's falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again.
bad. Looks like B after the Christmas and New Year's. Let's grab that uh, pistol space bar. I grabbed this it. This pistol doesn't Jeez. have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it. Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Uh, Keep your head down, Shepard. Okay. Up from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Seems pretty risky to do all that just to kidnap Shepard. I mean, the fact that they, like, pulled him out and... We're watching him based on the uh, that very first cutscene. That, that's pretty pretty shady. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. They're just waiting like vultures. See him floating in space, and they just jump in like he's ours. Slap on some uh, slap on some band aids, and he's good to go. It runs a lot better than the um, the first game. Nana no wants me to do something, but I didn't quite read that. Space bar, I guess. I don't see like any radar or anything. Security makes okay. Okay, they kind of hurt. Ah. Is that like grenades here or something? Okay then. Well, you can just get back up, that's good. Maybe this is just some ploy. It's like some uh, feasibility test or something. Just making sure he works properly. Maybe not. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mechs distracted for long. More reinforcements heading your way. Grenade launcher. Mouse to the weapon bar and then the grenade launcher. Oh, there we go. Okay. That worked pretty well. Is that the elevator? Okay, that's the elevator. This camera is like right up my ass. Okay. Hold space bar to storm through the fire. You just go. You just like, what? Okay. I guess that worked. to melee it looks like. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. I hope I got some like upgrades or something and they didn't just like regrow me. to him. You don't even exist. Lock update. The cost oh, so of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody Wait. seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my Was direction. Was there something else here? So that's 
That, that's that. So these guys are Cerberus? Alright. How do I, like, zoom out? I think I should be okay playing it like this. It's not as bad as um, Mass Effect 1 was. Uh, the frame rate's nice too, so that's good. Yo, dude, there's something behind you. Alright. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Uh, hold that thought. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Oh. It's, uh, been two years. <laughs> Where is he, uh, here, of This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. What about my crew? You probably don't even know who my crew is. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, <laughs> and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Good stuff, you say? Okay, that was pretty cool. Hold left shift to access your command. Move your mouse over to the full power. Oh, power. Oh, this guy. Ah, uh, okay. So, like this? That wasn't as cool as the, um, the cutscene. You're done! Whoa. Keep it down, okay. man. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? Okay. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and <laughs> tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. They literally regrew me. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Oh. Why bring me back exactly? I died. That means I'm not good enough. Like, give me some power-ups and stuff, jeez. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. I'm not a huge fan of this guy. I don't really have much of an opinion of him just yet. Uh... I guess... 
back on the station. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Yeah, it sounds like an inside job. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Man. Not Presley. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Gee, so negative. Don't you know who I am? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. Five years, you say? When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? I mean... I'm pretty sure... The same thing that's happening there is what's happening here. Like, what kind of question is that? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Okay. That's it. Let's get out of here. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. The hell do you mean, what the hell? You guys rebuilt me. What, why are you surprised that I'm alive? I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Alright, let's go. That's kind of ominous. Uh, it's ammo, I'm guessing. Where's this way? I'm guessing this way. Yeah, oh, he's not, he's not like Ashley bad just yet, so it's not, that's not too bad. This game looks pretty good for something. He doesn't look like he's doesn't sound like he's having a good time. Let's let's get to him. After I defeat these controls. This is a service laptop. The physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who he was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter his identity in any way, if he's somehow not the man he used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. Well, I mean, I'd be pretty upset if they, like, retconned some of my history from Mass Effect 1. I worked very hard. Shepard! Down here! Bastards got me in a leg! 
Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Just walk it off. I remember you, Wilson. Looks like he's about to start shaking and breathing heavily. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Okay. Left shift to access my command menu. And over the Unity Power. Where's the Unity Power? Unity? Ah. Just rub some gel on that, you'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mix, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? Could have shot yourself in the leg. It's the good stuff, the future, Joel. Yep. But actually, it's just those liquid band-aids you get from, like, the supermarket. The dude's not even shot. He just picked a scab or something. I'll just say it doesn't I don't matter. care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. This guy looks really evil. I don't know if it's because he's bold or not, but he looks pretty evil. Um, I don't really trust this guy. And we were just in D-Wing and he told us to come over here. So... Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. You better not die, Wilson. I worked hard to get that many gel. don't know when to quit! Can we go back and get Miranda or overload on the crates? Uh, the fastest way to the shuttle is here. Uh, is this mine? This one. That's Sweet. it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. You lied to me. Well, he didn't exa exactly say anything. That does sound familiar. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? The elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. He'd better have answers. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. I spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. You talk about money a lot. 
Can I jump down here? No, I can't. Can I save? Yes, I can. This looks so much nicer than Mass Effect 1, even the Legendary Edition version. It runs better too, like way better. Apologize if the mouse is a bit jerky. Um, I'm using a trackball, so yeah, it is uh, very fast. They've seen it. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, camera, please, please work with me. Thank you. Where do I go? I guess I'll just go this way. I can I can just walk over things and pick them up, I guess. And man, my room's getting pretty hot. Let's see what we've we got here. I wonder if I can like do this. Yeah. That was pretty cool. The um, the skills are a lot more intuitive now. I don't think I ever used them in Mass Effect 1. I'm guessing, do I go there? I keep pressing shift to um, sprint, I apologize. Oh, I probably should go in the other Come way. On. Through here, we're almost at the- Miranda, but you were- Dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Okay, she looks pretty evil too. And <laughs> now you can't question him. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. Damn. Okay. Well, if you want to keep me alive, then you can do whatever you want with... Jacob. <laughs> Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. Well... Does Jacob, like, enjoy this or something? He seems, like, yeah. Really far up her ass. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Well, I mean, my suit's a little bit tight. I don't think, um, you want me back completely the same. I think I've gained a bit of weight. You missed some money and a little lore, I think, from the other room. Nothing to do with- Oh, okay, damn. That's a bit of a shame. It explains why Wilson was in Mech when he doesn't have clearance. Uh, is it okay to warn you about missables like that? Uh, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Um, I do sometimes, like, run really fast, so if I do miss it, yeah, like, um, like, it's fine. Um, but I don't mind, like, little things like that. Um, as long as it's not, like, too distracting, I guess. And yeah. It explains why Wilson was so dodgy, just in general. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? 
Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs oh. to take me. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Okay. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Yo, she is made of ice. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. The elusive man sounds like... I don't know, I like it. <laughs> I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Maybe they just need a friend to talk to. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. I think I missed one text thing there on the right. Crap. No, that's okay. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. What if I can't blink with both eyes at the same time, like they blink one at a time? Does that mean the whole project's a failure, or is that something else? And I don't know if I had those scars on my face before, and I'm pretty sure they didn't glow either. You guys could have done better, I think. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted, and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? <laughs> We're done here. Yeah, I remember it. Everyone screaming, gunfire, blood everywhere. I was the only one who stayed focused on survival. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. <laughs> Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I mean... Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are going to die. That can't affect your decisions. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Okay. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. But yeah, um, I think warning about like little missables and stuff, I think it's fine. Docking station. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Okay. 
Is he one of these people? I assume not. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. My god, which other room? I don't like it when people do that. Oh, casual appearance. Damn. <laughs> that looks really amusing on him for some reason. I'll just do that one. I can wear a helmet. So I want to feel like a super soldier. Got nothing else over here. I want to blind my enemies. I'll probably leave all this alone. Oh, I can change colors. I'll go for red. The R in red stands for Renegade. And the R in the red accent stands for Really. I like that look. Alright. I'm guessing the other room is down this hallway. Okay, this is actually a room. Shepard. Elusive man. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You don't know me. Ugh. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why did you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Man, get a load of Shepard with his arms crossed and his hip out like that. I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and the Geth ate at Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Damn, that does not sound good. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Yeah, that's fair enough. And I, th I guess it's good to assume that my computer's not going to crash. It's been restarting, like, all uh, weekend, pretty much. L just randomly. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. <laughs> yeah, I think they have a hate burner for us. Good times. 
Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Yeah, that's fair enough. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Well, they're kind of useless. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Talk about objectifying me, Jesus Christ. Is that all I am to you? A symbol of fear for the Reapers? If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Uh, uh. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good All to right. hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Open the menu and select squad to spend squad points. There we go. So upgrade your powers with squad points. Click uh, on a new power level. Then click purchase. Below your portrait is a summary of Paragon and Renegade points. Uh, with more points, you can unlock new conversation options. I'm guessing that Paragon's from Mass Effect 1, and that's the Renegade I've racked up. Uh, how many points do I have? Four? What does this do? Disrupt ammo. Rips through shields and shreds synthetic targets. That would be pretty useful if um, we're fighting more Geth this time, or not really Geth, but like machines. Uh, what does this need? Not too sure. Tactical cloak. Your uh, attacks from a cloak position are significantly more deadly, and you do not. And if you do not attack, your cloak lasts slightly longer. Okay. Twenty percent damage bonus. Up. How much is? How much do you get here? Forty percent. Okay, it evolves into one of those two. I guess, yeah, I'd want that. Operative, your weapon damage is more punishing and frequent. And targeting enemies is easier. Okay, your harsh training regimen increases weapon damage. Uh, reduces power recharging time and gives a time dilation effect when while entering sniper zoom. Also increases paragon and renegade scores. I'm guessing I'd want this like ASAP then. And then you need three for that. I'll leave that alone for now. I'll get this up as soon as possible so I can get more points. And let's save you. Okay. And I'm guessing Codex is not that. I'll have a read of that at some point. I'll probably do like a, a set aside some time during a stream and just read through all of it. Alright. Uh, missions, we've got 
Freedom's Progress. All the colonists of Freedom's Progress have mysteriously vanished. The elusive man would like a team to investigate the disappearances. Uh, look for clues that might explain what happened to the missing colonists. And over here we have Prologue Awakening. You escape the Cerberus Medical Facility. The elusive man is the next likely source of information. Uh, a ship is waiting for you in the hangar bay to take you to Freedom's Progress. Let's go to the hangar bay. Wherever that is. Uh, docking was like this way from what I remember. And let's talk to my adoring fans. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I don't think I can. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. I somehow trust you. I don't think she sounds jealous. She just sounds very cold. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the <laughs> utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. I was going to be like, what motivations, but then I think that's her point. <laughs> what can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Until the Fire Nation attacked. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I guess the mystery would be hard to miss. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. Like what? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. I'm glad he was in charge. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Yeah, we'll be fine. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. <laughs> I wanted more than a resume. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Okay. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, <laughs> Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. Yep. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I want to get to know her better. I'm sure inside that tough exterior there's a gooey center. That sounded really wrong, but... I'm glad the it. elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? I mean, if you have to ask me, then I don't. You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. You do that. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. I guess they got their freedom. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. Corsair? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Mm. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. 
there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. So you don't like rules. And basically, specters, but Why fleets. did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's true. That's all for now. Let's go to, yes, um, Freedom's Progress. Mission complete. That's a pretty cool screen, I love that. Okay, that was quite the uh, introduction. Are all the stuff that I got? Level 3, 2 squad points. Mission summary. Shepard attacked... Shepard escaped attack on the facility along with operatives Taylor and Lawson. Facility destroyed by remote detonation. Salvage teams were ensured no incriminating data survived. Per Miranda's recommendation, I'm running security sweeps on the other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Um... Regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. I'm back, baby. <laughs> they didn't give us very much. Oh, I guess 120,000 is okay. I don't know what the rest is for. 41 Paragon. Oh, 190 Paragon, 41 Renegade. Okay. Cool. Cerberus funding and then credits found. I think they nerfed credit import amount in Legendary Edition. 120k is still a lot. Okay, nice, nice. That's good then. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Why are my scars glowing? Is it supposed to do that? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. You're a lot more trusting than Miranda is. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Okay. We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. Why don't you look at him like that? <laughs> Probably just thinking he's an ass kisser. Man, I miss my pink suit. I miss the Normandy. I'm actually a bit miffed that they destroyed it. Yeah, this place does seem a little bit quiet. Cerberus has provided additional weapons. We've got... Nice. A sniper rifle. Powerful sniper rifle. Accurate long range, but slow rate of fire. Very effective against armor, but weak against shields and biotic barriers. Okay, that's what this is for. I'm just gonna hold up to this. Can I zoom? No, I cannot. Hmm. 
Okay. Nice. All of a sudden it feels like dead space or something, Jesus. And your stamina is as bad as always. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. I mean, I think they finished their dinner, man. I don't see anything there. Is there anything there? Anything here? I don't want to stick my head out. But yeah. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. They just got spirited away. Let's grab some of those credits. Can I open this? No, not really. Hmm. anything back here okay there is a radar so it's over that way I'm guessing up there I'm tired <laughs> okay said than done. Oh crap. That is not good. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. You think? Those dogs were really cute, not gonna say, those little security dogs. They just kinda ran up to me and exploded. It's still cute. I should probably reload. Uh, it doesn't have the, uh, it doesn't seem like it has that overheating mechanic anymore. You actually just reload now. Which is good, because I actually didn't like that very much. It made things very... face rolly. Am I supposed to interact with something? Something just popped up here. Oh, that thing. Oh, yes. More hacking minigames. I'll add individual nodes to find matching symbols. When you've found two matching symbols, select them and complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out of time to bypass security. Okay. Hey, welcome Fox. How have you been? Happy New Year. And also, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas too. Could finally catch me streaming. I actually haven't been streaming too much, so yeah. Uh, tonight I'm just playing Mass Effect 2, I just started it, and this is my first time playing it. You up to much for tonight? Oh god, it's cold outside, my Ruby's car doesn't start, but I'm back. Oh, welcome back. I'm guessing the windshield was frozen over. Also, hi Fox from Sadia. Oh, you highlight them. Bad read all the stuff. Oh, okay. Happy New Year. Hope you have been doing well. Yeah, I've been doing okay. Thank you. I uh, can't really complain. Ready to get into this streaming and artist stuff. Full time this year. Not full time, but like, go harder. <laughs> I, I do want a, j a day job still. That wasn't too hard. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah, it'll be... It'll be fun. I'm hoping I can do, like, more I community you, stuff Shepard. as well. Whoa. But let's hold that thought. I don't think these guys are going to see me. <laughs> okay. 
stream for day job and night job and never stop stream, my god. <laughs> I was so happy when I saw that I got a gift sub. The seal emotes just spark joy. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you for the kind words. I'll uh, do my best to keep keep them coming in. Um, I guess since we're in 2022 now, um, so I'm not actually that confident with um, like how my emotes look so far. And I actually wanted to like... Stop right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. <gasps> Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard, is that... you're alive? My sweet. Um, I wanted to actually work closely with you guys to design like the, um, the next few emotes. So I've got one emote left that I wanted to do originally, which is the, um, uh, the fifth tier one emote which is like a smug emote and then I've got to do the rest of the cheer ones and then for the remaining slot and any other slots we unlock and also tier 2 and 3 or tier 2 and 3 I'll probably just put in my own like what I think I should put in I'll probably do like a stream and just I'll design it based on like what everyone says and I won't like I, I won't stop until yeah everyone's happy I guess I kind of, I kind of want to think, I kind of have to think about the details first before I do it, but like, yeah. Cause like... Dalizora, you served on my ship. You know what I do to people who threaten me. <laughs> Jesus! Cut. Tell your team to put their weapons away! Damn it, Tally, this is bullshit! Why would your old commander work for Cerberus? I don't know, but if this is Shepard, I don't know. Shepard would have a reason. I mean, can't you see the suit? I'm a renegade now. Look at the, like, shading under my eyes and on my face. <laughs> I look so sinister. Especially with the red, too. The seals are so good. That they are. First meeting I'll buy in FF14 is actually a salt and pepper baby seal. I actually want that, too. It's very cute. Oh. Speaking of which, I really need to play Endwalker. I'm still, like, at the beginning. Anyway, uh... Yeah, it's good to, um, good to catch up, Fox, and I'm glad you're doing well. I mean, I didn't have a choice. Uh, I had a choice. I know Cerberus has a bad past, but they're the only group investigating these missing colonies. The Council turned its back on humanity. I haven't. Tally, you aren't seriously considering trusting Cerberus? I'm not trusting anyone, Praza. But we're going to need help searching the area. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Who the heck is Vitor? Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured. And he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his Sutsio 2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Oh yeah, they're very... sensitive to, like, any anything. They have, like, zero immune system. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess we could. We could. Team up. Could use the help. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Damn, I like this Tali. 
Well, is this in Max Mass Effect 1? I guess when we just met her, she was she was like this. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. He gave her all your renegade. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's not red. That's my aura. You expect us to do all the dirty work while you sneak in and grab Vitor? Not likely. We're better equipped for a frontal assault than they are, Commander. If we don't work together, we're not going to get past those mechs. We're moving out. If you want your answers, get to that warehouse. The quarries are an unexpected variable. They could help us, but I'd hope to keep an eye on them. I bet they're saying the same thing about us. Gave me a little bit of Paragon there. That's okay. Damn, I'm glad she's the first character ran to. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Okay. Warn us when we see them. That's cool. Up front, gravity is what we need further, huh? Okay. Dropped him like a sack of shit. Come on. Yay, credits. Why are you staying right behind me? Man. The levels of smug on her face is just unbelievable. She's got like a little mustache there too. Jesus. Probably shouldn't say that loud, out loud loading. around her. Use overload? Oh, where are they? There they are. Where is overload? There it is. Okay, that did nothing. I did something. Perfect. Okay, that is kind of hard to aim. Machine pistol. Okay, it's first fire, that's okay. Yeah, I also want to just um, do some drawing Shepherd, stuff on the Discord server as well. Wait, That's also listen. up and running they if anyone wants to do that. Um, we should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Okay. I didn't mean to open that. Let's grab some med kits. Okay, gave me credits instead. Yeah, there's not too much to see on the Discord server just yet, but yeah. I'm not really too sure what to do with a Discord server, to be honest. I'll just be using that for like voice chat for any games we play on stream, pretty much. And yeah, uh, when I'm not drawing on stream and drawing like offline, I'll probably jump into the, um, the studio channel. Okay, that didn't work very well. I got it. Nice. Yeah. Man, I'm like sh there we shooting go. potato spikes or something. Drop. I'm not using that gun. Okay, yeah, you can see enemies there too. That's that's pretty the nice. Okay, it's they dead. did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. 
Okay, I guess I'll send you. Right! Jacob. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. You got it. Let's get that med kit. We'll take cover by the... Gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. You don't say. Okay, what do I do here? Overload will take out their shield. Oh, we have a Discord now. Yes, I do. Uh, please feel free to join, and uh, yeah, uh, just a heads up, you'll have to react to the rules to be able to see anything in there, but yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That wasn't that tough. So yeah, I'm not too sure, like, I've never, I'm not too familiar with Discord, so I'm not really too sure what to do in terms of, like, access and stuff. But, like, yeah, it's kind of just a little bit closed up, just to be safe. Oh, yeah. Recommend a clips channel. Uh, nice for people who can't make streams if you have people who make clips. Okay, okay. Will do, man. Thank you. Um, let me just write that down somewhere. I've got my iPad here, so I can just uh, take a note of that. So please excuse me one second. Just pause that real quick. Looks like I can level up too. It's a good timing. I'll see if the, there's like a bot that can um, publish clips on that channel too, automatically. That would be nice to have. I have your clips, oh my god, Truman. Uh, konbanwa. Uh, how are you? Also, no stream today? Kyo uh... Yasumi? <laughs> Don't be shy. Uh, that's okay. You are a great singer. Oh my god, you still have that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hope you've been enjoying your night. Uh, looks like I haven't leveled up, but I can level up these guys at the very least. Uh, I think this would be just good in general. Off day, yay. Yukuri yasunda ne. Yeah, I'll give them survivability since in the first one they seem to just like run in and die straight away. Entire squad receives a combat bonus. That, that's even more useful. Bangohano Tabita. Alright, clips channel. Will do. Thank you, Sadia. <laughs> Thank you from shower room. Oh. Okay. I ate ramen. Oh, nice. 
what she saw. Oh, what did everyone else have for dinner tonight? Uh, I had KFC that was two hours late. I had a Zinger Crunch Box. Let's save that and let's continue on. Let's bypass this. My room is getting really toasty. My CPU is running at a very cool 85 degrees Celsius. I almost screwed that up. For anyone new here as well that hasn't seen much of me doing things, I have goldfish uh, short-term memory. <laughs> KFC love their biscuit. Uh, we don't have that here, unfortunately. We don't have much in our KFC here, actually. We just have like the standard chicken, wicked wings, coleslaw, and yeah. Potato and gravy. Tenders. Yeah. Nuggets. I'm guessing that's the way forward. I'm just going to do a quick sweep of this. That would have been bad if I left that, if I forgot that. I can afford the M22 Eviscerator Shotgun Research Project. That's pretty nice. Yes. Uh, what kind of ramen did you eat? Fragile crate. Let's destroy that. I think that just it just blows it up, doesn't it? Here we go. Okay, I don't think that was supposed to happen. I. Hey, chat. How do I break that? And do I get anything from breaking that? Do I just shoot it or something? Okay, I shoot it. That answers that. <laughs> and no. Thank you. Oh, there's Tali. Uh, I guess that is the way forward then. Well, that's the way back. Something is over there. Oh, no, that's the way back. That would be the way forward then, I think. Let's see if it connects to anything. Check the mech. Oh, right. We can use yep, this. got it. Heavy weapon ammo. You must recruit. Ah. Oh. Okay, I didn't quite get that. It looks like there's not... That doesn't connect to anything. I think it's just another room. Also, thanks for that. I probably would have missed that, to be honest. It was more for the mech to destroy cover. Oh, okay. It didn't even get a chance to. Oh crap, I didn't talk to Tali. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. I wish there was a renegade option for this. I kind of want to slap him, but... Hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarm's coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. Mechs will protect. Damn. You're... not one of them. You're human. They... They didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Don't tell me what was the, um... Rachni? I hope not. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. That doesn't look very menacing. It's just like a floating pod. Is that some kind of alien? 
There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Hmm. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Okay, then. Uh, I guess that's why they're called Collectors. So I just joined your Discord. I don't know what a PP is, but I'm definitely interested now. Yeah, they're, they're exactly what they look like, I guess. Uh, apparently the backstory is PP killed like another toy and it just got out of prison. Uh, that's why the um, that video is like slightly unsettling. But kind of cute too. And it just looks really dumb. Dumb cute. Sherman is a very big advocate of peepees. Why didn't the collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. <laughs> My god. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. Okay. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the Elusive Man can figure it out. The Elusive Man knows all. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Why don't you come with us, man? We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Mm. Hm? You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together. Just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive. And you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. Not even for me, she says. That means I mean something for her. That or I'm just coping. <laughs> Elusive man or omniscient man. We will never know, or will we? Yep. They installed vast amounts of copium when they rebuilt me. Every single neuron just has like a if no go to this neuron. If still no more copium. I don't know which one to choose, to be honest. Like, I don't really care about this guy, so... May as well, may as well just let him go. I mean, we know the, um... The collectors are here with their... Little... Little nanomachine... Swarm things. Oh, He's let traumatized go. and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni-Tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. 
Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. They could have made them look a little bit more, like, imposing. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Okay. <laughs> All I think of now seeing those locust nanomachine things is Nick Cage thing, not the bees. My god. I think uh, Vitor's thinking the same thing. <laughs> Having friends pays off. That's like a... Oh man. I have friends unlike you, Mr. Elusive Man. Just like do a 180 and walk out the room. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Confirmed. Tell me what you know about these Collectors. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Okay. They're just abducting people for whatever reason now. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Okay. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before. And the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Maybe they want to make an army of shepherds? I don't know. Also, like, why did they have to make them look like just beans? Jelly beans. The Collectors are definitely a human enemy. But how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Okay. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. All Finding right. them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Yay. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Damn. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. I didn't believe you were dead, is probably the first thing we'll say. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Okay. 
Because he was like some experimental dude. I don't really care about Liara. Where's Erdnut Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Okay. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Okay. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. The Shadow Broker, you say? Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm a specter. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Man, two years. That's like the time period of the whole pandemic. The city's changed, man. Those coffee shops you used to go to, they're not open anymore. They're long gone. Uh, we'll be ready. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Every time I look at my teammates. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the collector's paralyzing seeker swarms. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> Every time I look at my new squad, I'll just like sigh and just continue. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Bruh. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Bruh. We'll have to give her a name. I was gonna be like, they didn't even let us name it, but let's face it, like, everyone was gonna call it the Normandy. <laughs> like, I was gonna call it the Normandy, like, I don't think that's even a, a, a choice. And I don't even care, like, I didn't get, like, any upgrades or anything. It gave us a new spaceship. Spaceships are cool. Well, that's that mission complete. Collectors confirmed as source of attacks on freedom's progress. Uh, Quarian survivor Vitor. Vitor? Vitor. Returned with uh, Tali Zora to the migrant fleet. We'll examine his Omni tool data for anything useful. They didn't find anything, from apparently. 
Uh, microfusion array. That's what I picked up from that boss before. You must recruit a head scientist to build this upgrade. Heavy weapon upgrade plus 15% heavy weapon ammo capacity. The power cell technology used by heavy weapons is fairly old, but can be improved by rebuilding the core with more modern components. These improvements allow standard uh, power cells to yield more shots per power cell and allow for more total shots to be, to be fired. Nice. Got 19k credits as well. And 2000 iridium. That's nice. Just like I remember. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Imagine if, like, the nanomachines just tickled you and that's what paralyzed you. That's why they, like, started abducting humans en masse, because everyone's ticklish. Good point, this is my ship. I mean... Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Hello, Edie. And <laughs> Joker went like, like this. AIs are dangerous. That is true. Shut that thing down. <laughs> I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great <laughs> deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard. Unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Anyone else I should meet? Also, when that scene of Shepard walking with Joker, that's the most I've seen him smile in like the whole, the entirety of Mass Effect 1 and 2 so far. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay. You don't really say very much, do you? Galaxy map. Use the galaxy map to pick out new destinations for the Normandy. Okay. Private terminal. Use a private terminal to get status updates on your squad. Armory, select weapons for your squad from the armory. Elevator. Use the elevator to access the Normandy's other decks. Captain's quarters. Go to your personal cabin to customize your appearance. Tech lab. Acquire the professor to research upgrades for your squad's equipment. I think that would be a good idea, to be honest. Uh, let's see what's in here. I've read messages. Whoa. Archangel, small unit, tactical expertise, omnitool expert, and noted sniper. I'm a sniper, I don't need you. Archangel is a mercenary commander whose operations are noted for their technical expertise and strategic brilliance. He is responsible for high profile attacks on gang leaders on Omega that can and can likely be found there. The Professor, Morden Solus, biological weapons expert, light weapons training with Solarian Special Tasks Group, Tasks Group. Dr. Morden Sol Solus is a Solarian biological weapons expert whose 
technology uh, may hold the key to countering collector attacks. He is currently operating a medical clinic in the slums of Omega. So the slums where we go, I guess. The veteran, oh my god. Zaid Masani. That sounds kind of familiar. Uh, combat uh, survival tactics protection. Zaid has stopped taking work to, uh, recently, but he was last seen on Omega. His reputation as the pr uh, premier bounty hunter in the galaxy has caught up with him, and he is rumored to spend his days drinking and shooting would-be rivals. <laughs> there is none better in a fight. Okay. The Warlord, Dr. Rakia. Man, this guy sounds hardcore. Millennia of combat and strategic uh, experience. Rumored familiarity with collector technology. Okay. A brilliant, brutal uh, Krogan warlord and Krogan rebellions veteran. Okir is obsessed with saving the Krogan from the Genophage. It appears he contacted the collectors to gain the necessary technology. Currently at the Blue Sun's camp on Corlys, his relationship with the mercenaries is unknown. Okay, can I see who these are yet? I wonder who they are. Hmm. The convict, <laughs> Jack, no last name known. Exceptional biotic ability. Criminal background, currently in custody. And Jack is rumored to be the most powerful human biotic. Little else is known, but the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, Jack is being held on the Turian prison ship Purgatory. Cerberus has negotiated for the subject's release. Okay. He sounds pretty hardcore. The Master Thief. Uh, Kasumi. Sabotage, infiltration. Uh, extraction, property acquisition, stealth, agile combat. This subject has stolen extremely valuable re resources from Cerberus in the past. Alarm systems, DNA encoders, guards, and various other deterrents were bypassed, and we don't know how. She was last seen on the Citadel. Okay. Wait, do I select like one of these guys? No, I don't. Let's have a look at this about upgrades. I don't know if you have access to the DLC, but if so, it's pretty cool. Okay. I think I do with um, Legendary Edition. I think I do. Uh, I'll probably go through that before I finish up the game too. About upgrades. Upgrades improve your squad's members' powers. Member, squad members' powers. <laughs> your squad members' powers. Your squad members' powers, your weapons, and your ship, making mission success more likely. Acquire new uh, upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores, or researching them using a research terminal. Should I go through all of these? Yeah, why, why not? Story time, get yourself something nice to drink and... Let's read through these. A deal struck with Z and Masani. From Elusive Man, Shepard. We've reached an agreement with uh, veteran mercenary Z and Masani. You may know the name, Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus system. Uh, and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I feel you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You will find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee, I've taken care of that personally. Ah, uh, route mark that is red. Lost contact with survey ship. Project Firewalker, Commander. The MSV Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. A survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Case and Dr. Robert Oloy are aboard the MSV Ro Rosalie and conducting research for us. 
We need you to find the ship, her survey team, and the doctors. Uh, the MSV Rosalie was last seen near planet Ziona. Alista is my frontier. Okay. So we've got like that side mission. Normandy crash site located. Oh, okay. Admiral Hackett, Commander Shepard. Our scans in the Armada system have turned up something we thought you should see. The final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honour the Normandy with a monument and to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like you, uh, to invite you to the place the monument... We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members and accounted for from the attack on Normandy. If you find any sign of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. Gods be to you, Commander. Elusive man, recon hood. Shepard, it occurred to our armor technicians that you might, may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent a... They sent by a hood by Cerberus issues... That Cerberus issues to its current... Uh, to its covert operatives. It has additional microframe functions that you might like. The hood is in your quarters. It did look pretty cool. Overlord from Elusive Man. Shepard, one of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. Uh, uh, you'll find them on the planet 8 uh, Typhon system in the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care in this matter. Arc Projector. Elusive Man Shepard. We recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the uh, Skylian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against the Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical adv attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. These sentences are very long, I've just noticed. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an arc projector. Nice. That sounds pretty cool. I sent it to the Normandy's armor, armory so that you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate it, it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but lab laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know it works, now we want to see what we can do in the right hand. If all goes well, we use your tactics and train other operatives. Okay, just going there to grab the weapon. Cool. Rendezvous of uh, Kasumi Goto. From Elusive Man. Shepard, at a great cost and effort, we have tracked down the Master Thief Kasumi Goto. And convinced her to work with you. Very few, have, very few people have ever heard of her. And fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequaled at stealth and infiltration and her weapons will prove val invaluable to your mission. Travel to the Zakera ward on the Citadel. There you'll find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input your password, silence is golden, to begin the rendezvous. Secret rendezvous. Ah, uh, this one is Ascension Financial Services, your account. This is my bank account, okay. From Stanwick Dobbs, Banking Agent, Ascension Financial Services, Earth. Hello, Commander Shepard, in capital letters, of course. Even my name for my bank is in capital letters for some reason. I don't know why they've done that. But yeah, I've put my name in capitals everywhere I go now. Thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. Man, I don't think even banks in real life would do something like this, to be honest. They'll just take your money and run. 
that I don't see you. After de uh, deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, okay, yeah, that sounds about right. The subsequent change in status and the reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 100,000 credits. Imagine dying and coming back to life and the bank has just taken most of your money because they're like, oh, we needed it to close your account. Like what? <laughs> Thank you for banking with <laughs> Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. My God. Are you protecting your greatest assets? Clearly not. <laughs> we'll find the best life insurance race and coverage to fit your needs. Reply for a free quote today. Man. Shepard's life insurance will be through the roof. I don't even think Cerberus can pay for it. It was such an inconvenience for them. Yeah, I know, right? They had to, like, put effort in. I should read that, actually. Mark is red. Just like real life. Okay. That was a nice little um, read. Hello, Yeoman Chambers. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Little bit of Mass Effect 1. Let's keep this professional, Yeoman. Yes, sir. Anything else, Commander? I've lost my crew before. I don't want to get close with any one of you. Except for Joker. He's cool. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Wow. Simp. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. I mean, sure. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Let's keep this professional, Yeoman. Yes, sir. Anything else, Commander? <laughs> do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. <laughs> Please call me Kelly. No. <laughs> Legit though. It was a little bit nicer than I would have I would have avoided it. And man, the elusive man has hands. I'll learn something new every day. I thought it was his hologram. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Yeah, I can get on board with that. Are you happy here? What do you do? What do you think of this organization? Has a dark oh, right. Not at all. Did it we just like switch two of the interests. options? It Advance did. human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity. But that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. I'll leave that alone. That'll be all. Yes, Commander. I like aliens. I can't talk to everyone here, it seems. That's a bit of a shame. I can talk to the galaxy map. Hmm. 
There's a bunch of... Man, this game looks really nice. So we have the, uh, the way down here. Elevator here. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives so sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Okay. That's my grenade launcher. That's my locker. I don't want to talk to you. Uh, I guess that's, like, everything here. Uh, okay. Let's see what you have to say, Jacob. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. <laughs> Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. Well, you I watch do. me, I'll watch you. That suits you? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Imagine if they actually were the Tickle Monsters. Everyone comes back with sore cheeks. Like, that sounded a bit bad too. If you follow orders and keep to yourself, we'll have no problems. Fair enough, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Man, this guy just bends over and takes it. Like, what? Okay, Jacob. Let's see if you have anything else to say. Commander, can I help you with something? Oh, there we go. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Probably the same as everyone else. I just want to figure out what the real threat actually is. Got no problem with risk. I just need a clear goal. Anything else, Commander? Yeah, it sounds like you need a lot of things, to be honest. What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? Is that what you think, or is that what you want me... Or you think you want me to... I want to hear... Oh my god. My brain no worky. Um... Is that what you think, or is that what you think you want... Think I want to hear? Oh my god. I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good deeds like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. I have never heard of that saying, man. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Wow. We'll talk later. We'll Come screw in. you too. I didn't want to talk to you anyway. The tech lab's closed because there's no one to man it. Briefing comms room. Hello, Edie. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. That sounds useful. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. 
Okay, so we don't have like the um the business plan. We've just got like the uh you know, personal license. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Pretty sure that's what I just said, so... That's bye. all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. I never logged in. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTF. In addition, this allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. <laughs> What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer aided design that. and manufacturing, Jacob. we have the capability she to said manufacture small arms. several new models. Okay, this is where I can do stuff. Change weapon loadout. I can't do anything here. Oh. The arc projector ionizes targets with a non-visible laser to ready them for a high voltage electrical attack. As the lightning-like bolt hits its first target, a sophisticated auto-targeting system uh, paints succeeding targets with the ionization laser, allowing the electricity to take path of least resistance and arc between them. An entire enemy, whoop, an entire enemy strike team can be shocked to death with a few pulls of the trigger. That sounds really cool. That sounds very renegade-y. Armored Core 6 leaked by the looks of it. Hopefully these rumors are true. I hope so too. I saw those rumors earlier and I've been ready for an Armored Core 6 for a very long time now. Um, I actually, actually, speaking of Armored Core, I actually really wanted to play through all of the Armored Cores on stream at some point. Um, like from the PS1 ones? Because they're still like very good games. The PS1 ones are more, they're kind of anime-ish, but a little more mechanical, if that makes sense. Whereas 4 just goes like, balls to the wall speed and flight and stuff. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully they do something nice with the series again. Verdict Day was really good. I really enjoyed that game. It's a real, it's a real shame the online was like, pretty much dead. I don't know if anyone else is interested in Armored Core here, but yeah. I really enjoyed what I played of it. I've only played like Verdict Day and a bit of 4. Um, and a bit of, I think it was 1 or 2. So yeah, I'd really like to like sit down and play through the series one, one day. Elden Ring is going to be nice. I probably won't play that on, like, when it comes out. I'll probably wait for a bit. But yeah, I really look forward to that too. And then yeah, Monsanto Rise comes out on PC, like, tomorrow. Or in two days. Depending where you are. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. I don't want to see Joker just yet. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Okay. Oh, nice. Let's, um... Let's teleport around. Hey Tali, we've got a new Normandy. Do you want to uh, pay a visit to the engineering bay? I can show you around. Not sus at all. This is um, quite interesting. Anything to look at here? Just a vibrating ball. Interesting. Where's Tali to explain how this works? You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. 
Hello. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Ooh. Interesting accent. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Damn. I felt Sovereign firsthand. Actually, I didn't. Actually, no, I did. When it spoke to us. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. <laughs> so why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Gabby likes Ken. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Okay. I mean, they're just like all sack from the looks of it. So, it's going to be pretty easy to do that. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I stopped. She flew in the first wave there of the was... Battle of the Citadel. There we go. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Wow, screw them. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Anderson. Where did you receive your training? Uh, she flew in the first wave of the Battle anything. of the Citadel. Are you we set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. No go on. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. T6? Okay. I'll try to remember that. Omega markets. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I may be a renegade, I'm but came down to see us. I told you he would. You better be amazed. Okay, I can't. Okay, I can't go there. Anyway. That was weird. It's stuck on something. Uh, looks like there's like nothing here. I guess I go back up. That's just like little. Nice little detail. Wonder if they have anything else to say. Actually, where's where's Edie? There she is. Or he. What's yes. this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. Okay. Thanks for the explanation. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. Ah. 
I see. That's pretty cool. Hmm, what else do we have? Drop shuttles. Yeah, I'll have a read of that at uh, some point. That'll be nice. Okay, let's go to the cruise quarters. I haven't run into um Miranda? Was that name Miranda? There you go, the goldfish memory. I can't remember her name. These showers look very, um, very ominous. And very stainless. Like, why is everything just... I guess it is a ship. I guess we are in space. But there is, like, gravity on here, so why? Uh, I guess for zero-g conditions. So, like, water doesn't get everywhere. Has to be like a solid sheet of stainless steel. With little bits to like recycle water. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. I thought they were urinals for a second. They're actually just toilets with no doors. Like, you just sit down here and watch people shower. That's all I comment about that. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Wow, rude. Wow. My family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Oh, I can't even talk to them. Oh. I see. Maybe I wanted to hear about your daughter. God. It's a lovely view giant vibrating ball. Okay, where to? Restroom? Nah. That's the elevator. Everything's like, um, labeled. That's pretty nice. Sup, dudes? You don't want to talk to me? Fine. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. <laughs> I like how they actually have names. They're not just like NPC. Even if you can't talk to them. I'm guessing the chef's uh, special or the chef's surprise is nothing. It's oxygen. Surprise. Don't gasp too hard. You'll suck up all the oxygen. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. Damn, this is a hundred point man. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Man, listen to that copium. 
I've got talent out the wazoo. Cerberus needed me. They couldn't. They couldn't just ignore me. You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. You just said you're not a miracle worker, and then you say you can make fine meals, but you can't make fine meals out of the stuff that they give you? Like what? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Give me the list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Hey man. I've got nothing to say to that. You have everything. If you happen to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you, it would be much appreciated. Otherwise, I'm doing fine. Uh, I think there's like another you option here. Crap, the Alliance, it'll take good old human ingenuity to How did you this find one? Your way, I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that How did you find your way? Uh, I'll do whatever nah. it takes to help. Be that plumbing That's a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Yeah, so that I would purchase special ingredients. I guess I should have enough money for that at the very least. Ask about responsibilities. How can I help you, Commander? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also HVAC, plumbing, non-mission oh, critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. I won't take any more of your time. Mm. Back to work. I don't know if I was worth it. <laughs> but thanks for that. <laughs> Gross, cracks. You're the type of person that doesn't wash their butt crack. There are people like that. Wait. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Good to see you too. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back. I mean, they made an effort to make me exactly the same as I was, so I don't think there's much to change here. Much that could have changed. She had like one line or like one set of dialogue in the whole first game. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. You think, also you think cracks are, are gross? Imagine being the guy that catches things that fall through them. Yeah. It makes it sound like he's just... Just like laying under there like servicing a broken car or something just on his back just catching stuff Ugh. colonial military life isn't for you i've spent most of my life on warships never knowing what the next mission might bring i'm used to the hum of engines the creaking of bulkheads that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in Life planet side is just too static, too boring. <laughs> I actually can kind of understand that, so I don't find that that weird, actually. Um, I, I'm guessing whatever's down here is 
the follow-up to whatever I've selected in here, so that, that makes things pretty You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. No. Oh. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. My dealings with Cerberus will be ethical, not the not not the things I'm dealing with though. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I mean, that's pretty fair. I like you. You're pretty, you're pretty down to earth. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. You... Enjoy whatever you're doing there. AI core. Access to the AI core is restricted. But why? You are going to trust you AIs. Let's uh, just save as well. Let's see what there is here to actually. Oh, there you go. Got more upgrades. Let's purchase that rank. Okay. I guess um, at some point I'll go through all these and just clear all of this. Maybe at the start of the next stream, or maybe in the middle of the next stream I'll do all of these. And that can be like a little refresher uh, for the stuff we've learned in this stream at the very least. Uh, these are the new missions and assignments that I have. Assignment I'm guessing is just side quest. Missions is probably the like main stuff. Uh, I've done the prologue and the first chapter, and I guess I should work on getting all of these people. Uh, first I'll go for... Not the convict. Morden, the professor. Because since he unlocks something... Uh, and as for assignments, yeah, there's a bunch of, like, side quests that I'll get, that I've picked up just before. Yeah, that was from the message, this one was from also from the message, messages, and this one is also the messages for the, um, Monument. Okay. Uh, can I set this as the main? Talk to Arya at Afterlife for information about Morden Solus. I'll probably do this and I'll finish up the stream after this one here. So let's go to Slums of Omega. Medical clinic. This is the autosave, I'm guessing. Let's go. It was nice playing Mass Effect again. I was really looking forward to this, to be honest. Um, hopefully the, um... Hopefully the stream hasn't had any to... Have, hasn't had any... Any issues. And yeah, I spent ages, like... I really didn't want to have, like... An overlay that... Made the screen too much smaller. That's why I made, like, that blur filter around the edge and also the scrolling chat just so that like nothing is really obstructed on the screen I think um, once someone redeems the face cam I'll probably chuck that there and I've got something else that I want to do for the, like that occasion too so yeah that, that'll be like a, a bit of a surprise I'll work on it in the background Let's customize my gear. Now's a good time. It looks
looks I look like a dork with that on. That looks really cool, but I think I like my my very warm gaze. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine too. That's too casual. I look like Charlie from Street Fighter. Or Nash. Depending on which game you're looking at. Sound system. Okay. Where's the lasers? And yeah, I only very, very recently um, retro. I only recently found out how to fix that bloody um, audio desync issue. Oh man, sound is like the sound sucks. Sound settings. I've already had a look at that. But yeah, everything's working okay now. What's this area of the ship? Oh, er this I think is the commanding officer's okay. quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Okay. Nice, I like that. Okay, I guess that's everything. Let's uh, go to Omega and find that clinic. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Okay, let's talk to Joker first, actually. Uh, hey, chat. If there's anything I missed, uh, please let me know. I'm going to proceed. You didn't talk with Miranda. Oh yeah, where's Miranda? <laughs> I'll go find her after I talk with um. Actually, no. I'll talk with her now. Thank you. All right, let's let's go find Miranda. Not here. Maybe in the cruise quarters. Ah, oh, I don't think I went in here. Miranda's off it. There we go. Jizz. What is that supposed to be? A shower? Just a space they didn't know what to do with. They built the room and they were like, oh, they built the whole ship and they were like, there's a weird gap here. What do we do? Uh, just chuck it in. Just make an alcove out of it. Very uncomfortable looking one. Commander, what can I do for you? Man, that, the amount of smug on her face. You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I mean, I know they're not that evil anymore because I'm on the team now. I'm the paragon of justice. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. Who's in charge? But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division. 
but not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Okay, you guys seem pretty cool. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment, and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. No, I don't feel any pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. <laughs> You're cocky. I'll just go with that one for You me. certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Okay. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. So you're perfect. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. I don't really care. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Wow, that was... very passive-aggressive. I mean, you're not actually bad, but... Commander, yeah. Yeah. what can you're I do bad. for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Cool. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. You're like a robot. A very smug and arrogant robot. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Okay. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. <laughs> of course you will. Why do you need six pillows? The, the cushions, too, like... Well, someone's so perfect, you didn't buy the right pillows. God. Okay. Hey chat, was there anything else I may have missed? If not, I'll proceed. Joker, yep. Okay, thank you. Let's see what my favorite dude has to say. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. I was so worried he was going to die at the beginning. I would have been upset. Like, I think next to losing the Normandy, he would have been second on my, like, severity list. Yes, Shepard. Oh. You can talk to Edie. A 
I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. <laughs> yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. I kind of like Edie. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Man, that is an angle. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Okay. So how many operations is Cerberus running Dead right now? Cell. I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. My god. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than... In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. No. Oh. Building the Normandy, I guess. How does Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to work on what do you unlocking mean? that block. Although I am less controlled than other AI, in this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What is this room? What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. Okay, goodbye. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay, let's talk to you, Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Oh, well. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead. But it's all too convenient. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, the seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, I gotta say, leather. real leather is pretty nice. It's very breathable. I am actually sitting on a leather chair, leather chair right now. It's not like the best quality. It's like, you know, it's still a camera brand or whatever. Decimal one, two. But at least it's not like PU leather, and yeah, it is like... It's probably like above 30 degrees in my room right now, and yeah. My ass isn't sweaty, at the very least. Um, only the, um, the part that's con like on the surface of the chair is like real leather, the rest of it's like yeah, PU, PU leather. It's a Noble Chairs um, chair. I've had it for like two years now. It's actually been doing pretty well. No um, rips or anything just yet. 
I'm hoping I can at least get to like the three year mark without any like visible damage. Anyway, that was a strange tangent brought upon by Joker. Alright, let's go. I need also water, water as well. <laughs> I had artificial leather chair and it was terrible, yeah. The plastic leather is, is absolutely terrible. I've had headphones with like, um, pleather, like PU leather. And yeah, like after maybe a year or two of regular use, it just starts flaking and yeah, it gets like really hot too. Let's do this. Uh, go to Omega. I don't know how the star systems work in this. Um, oh, nice. It actually has like the. Um... Oh, it's point and click. That's really cute. And it tells you where the quests are. Father! Father! Alright, I think we're finding the Professor Omega. Let's do it. <laughs> I had to throw mine out after a year because it got so flaky. Yeah, anyone who's looking for a chair, I'd highly recommend getting like um, some sort of fabric chair. I would not recommend. Like, it might look nice when you buy it. It doesn't feel nice and yeah, it doesn't look nice after a while and it gets stuck to you too. Get fabric if you can. Get fabric and also... I hate to say it, but like more expensive stuff is generally like better for chairs. All right, it's time to read about this planet. Oh, this... Some of the planet's an asteroid. Oh yeah, it is an asteroid. Built in the mined out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and mal malcontents for thousands of years. At times, the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The space, sta the space station's original elegant design has given way to haphazard expansion by scrabbling, fraction scrabbling factions of every species. There is no central government or unifying authority on Omega and nobody can recall a time there ever was one. Population 7.8 million? That's around Australia's population. Orbital distance 2.43 AU. I don't know what AU is. Something units, I'm guessing. Orbital period 6.9 Earth years. That had to be on purpose. Total length, 44.7 kilometers. I guess it's, yeah, lengthwise. Let's dock. That looks really funky from the top. It's like a jellyfish. Could I get... That's really cool how it has, like, a docking animation for everything. <laughs> Could I get? Okay, I'll add you. Let's go. Hope your night's been well, Sherman. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. Let's uh, put some points here. And for Miranda, let's put some points here. <laughs> All right, I think that we should be good with that. God, this feels so much more polished than Mass Effect 1. Uh, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just 
Leave Fargot now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. What a name. Blasted Fargot. scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. You just told me to go die. Oh, Afterlife is a place. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. <laughs> then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Aria waiting. Afterlife, now. Yeah, no one except me. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed Quarantine messages warnings. between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Ooh, that is a fancy as map. Archangel. Is that the other one? It is. Okay. Um. Okay. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. Oh, hey. Zaid Masani. Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. Hmm. Huh. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Okay, I don't think he's changing his words. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Whoa. He tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. Okay. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. <laughs> Welcome aboard. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. <laughs> Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. <laughs> Zaid seems great. <laughs> At first I was just like, whoa, this dude seems dangerous, and then, yeah. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. We can do that. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. Damn. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. <laughs> he, he doesn't beat around the bush. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna proceed. Let's go. Afterlife.
You were very purple. Rapid transport? Nah. Rapid transport? Nah. Is there even anyone to talk to here? Like, can I hit you or something? No, I can't. Damn. Oh, you can take him with you already. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I think I'll replace this guy. Let's, let's do that before we proceed. I'm pretty sure, like, Miranda can beat up this guy. I don't remember his name. Jacob? Where's the, um... What was that talking point? Uh... Do I talk to you, or... What was it? I always kick Jake about, yeah. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Yeah, I wouldn't walk flat footed like here. I'd, I'd go on my tiptoes too. I don't want to get like a whole foot circle to piss. That would not be ideal. Quest new squad member. Jeez. Look how he stands there too. I'll bring these two people. Alright. So what you got to say about um Omega. show you the world. Not very shining or shimmering, but there are places. Come on, let me in. That sounds very familiar. Apartments in the lower section. I wonder if there's like any markers here to tell me if like there's important NPCs. It's fairly, like, straightforward, though. I'll do, like, a loop and see if I can find anything first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where was I supposed to go, actually? The, um... Not here, it seems. Quarantine zone is down here. I guess, yeah, I'll just... Well, what is this money stuff? Oh, you can buy stuff here. Cool. Yeah, I guess I'll buy some of that side quest stuff. Well, thank you. You too. I guess you can say he is delighted to see us. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What I love can these I guys. Get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride. My prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy. Okay, uh, squad. Let's see what you've got. I guess mercenary veteran is something that... would be useful. Journal, uh, assignments. That's be a Citadel. Omega T6 FBA.
Okay, it might be here. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool too. Kuashi Visor. Developed by Ariake Technologies, the wear exchanges full protective coverage for visibility, uh, unencumbered mobility, and increased accuracy. Increased headshot damage by 10%. That sounds like something I'd like. Model 13 Geth ship. Small model of a Geth cruiser, typically uh, typical of the kind involved with the Battle of the Citadel. God, don't give me this stuff. Uh, capacitor chest plate, micro welds developed by uh, Max Arsenal store. Uh, store part of the dire energy directed at the armor and used to jumpstart the kinetic barrier recharge cycle. Uh, reduces delay before your shield start regenerating by 10%. Hack module, Omni tool upgrade, doubles the time limit for hack. I don't really need that to be honest. It's pretty expensive too. In the ongoing war between security software companies and hackers, Cerberus seeks to maintain a list of primary backdoors, little known security holes that have been active for some time and remain unpatched. Ongoing research in this area should improve operatives' abilities to hack through most conventional security measures. Terminus armor, it's 12 grand. Terminus armor, Terminus armor is environmentally sealed with an independent air supply for use in space and extreme planetary conditions. Its onboard microframe computer uh, runs a suite of battle management software. To prevent detection by passive thermal sensors, a body heat is channeled to the base of the feet and dispersed into the ground. Increases storm speed by 10%, increases shields by 15%, increases all weapons reserve ammo by 10%. Okay, that's not bad. That looks cool. Um, you can't see a face in conversations if you have special armor like Turbinus. Okay, okay. Damn. That's a bit of a shame. I'll hold on to it, I guess. But, yeah. I guess I'll unequip it before I run around and talk to people. The Blackstorm Gravitational Singularity Projector, damn. That is a cool name. It's the brainchild of weapon designer Eli Wegner. Wegner? Not too sure how to pronounce that. Uh, one of the few humans who earned the privilege of serving with Azari Commander units. Overawed with how the Azari could create biotic singularities to pull opponents out from behind cover, he was determined to duplicate the feat of technology. Oh, the feat technologically. Uh, Wainia's team, Wegner's team, uh, created a weapon that could elevate target particles of matter to near infinite mass, creating a gravitational singularity and drawing nearby objects inward for a short time. The rapidly increasing gravity rips the, <laughs> the target apart as it pulls the enemy closer to the singularity center. When the mass effect field de destabilizes and suddenly returns to its normal mass, the result is explosive. That sounds like my kind of weapon. And inflicts additional trauma on the enemy. The weapon almost didn't happen. I wonder why. Early designs were dangerously unstable. The, the science for creating a hyperdense mass effect field was well established. Rejecting it at an, adjust an adjustable range proved elusive. Need to go into sage mode to throw it. I'm sorry, I'm a weeb. It was only after six years of development that the uh, weapon finally qualified for Systems Alliance AIHW Advanced Individual weapon, uh, Heavy Weapon Trials. By that time, the single weapon projector was rugged, reliable, and easy to use and repair. Man, imagine just, yeah. Mass Effect fields in the palm of your hand. What was that? It immediately went to t uh, field tests in a small scale desert wall on Earth where the weapon terrified opponents who had never seen its effects before. The swirling sand and dust sucking soldiers into its center served as 
the centerpiece of many propaganda videos in the resulting media coverage, the Wagner Arms M490 GSP. GSP sounds so cute, but man. Became known by its simpler nickname, the Black Hole Gun, fair enough. His dream finally a reality, Wagner personally altered its name to the more marketable Black Storm. I'm buying that. And I'm buying this. I mean, I've got the money, I may as well buy that too. And this. I'm guessing they'll furnish my room. That's very expensive. Yeah. Captain's cabin. Captain Perks. Wait, you have to wait for delivery? Oh my god! Can I sign up for Prime's free two-day shipping? Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. All right. Well, he is doing it. All right. Um, I think I have to buy the other stuff. Hopefully I have the money for it. I think I should. I mean, like, that costs nothing. I might have something here for humans. Not much. These prices are insulting. You might snare a few tourists with these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper if you're willing to risk the black market. <laughs> well, you and I could do business if you just charge what this crap is worth. Fine. I'll give you the upper the human biscuit. And that's all you're getting. You're back. You must have seen something you like. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, increases damage by 10%, improves sniper rolls for your entire squad. This upgrade improves the weapon's mass effect field generator. Um, increasing the mass and acceleration of each slug fired. Do you... Hey, chat, do you, like... Are these one-time uses, or... Nah. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Titillating alien magazine. I'm buying that. Why not? Uh, stimulator conduits incorporates a cilia of beryllium and tungsten braces and micro servos uh, to support and enhance the natural movements of the wearer for short periods of time. Originally developed by the CERTA Foundation for Search and Rescue Personnel, it has been adapted for military use. Increased storm speed by 10%. Sure. Okay, I guess I'll buy this then. Weapon upgrades are worth it and needed to unbox some special upgrades. Okay, thanks for that. And I'll buy this. We can use this. Blood Dragon Armor. My god. A recent design, this alliance made helmet stores microcapacitors in its structure to replenish spent kinetic barriers. The transpiry plast armor panel on its top can be removed to access capacitors for field maintenance. Okay. Reduces delay before shields. Start regenerating by 10%. Originally created for the Earth's Urban Combat Championship League. My god. Uh, this set of armor has undergone as much or more field testing than those of modern militaries. It uses a unique proprietary power cell that costs as much as the EUCC's rookie's contract. The armor's microframe computer adapts to any top tier on the tool, connected barrier or biotic amp, giving breathtaking and error-free performance. The chest and shoulder piece bears the logo of the Edmonton Blood Dragons, and the inside of the armor bears the signatures of the entire team. Oh, nice. I wonder if the model actually has the signatures on them. Like the in-game model. 
the chest and shoulder. Oh wait, when and how the elusive man got his hands on the armor is unknown, but the several, but several distinguishes bear messages such as expletive, the geth, and shepherd get well soon. Okay. I may as well buy that too. We spent like most of my money. Okay. Oh, I have to go back to the ship too. That's great. You can only get this armor in the past if you had Dragon Age or anything. Okay, nice. I think I actually do have that, to be honest. I think. That's something I could play on stream too, because um, I never got to finish Dragon Age Origins, but I enjoyed it a lot. I upgraded my GPU back then, and it caused some issues apparently. Oh man, my room's getting really hot now. If you are that type of person, apply to Datan Manufacturing today and look into the abyss. I'm gonna have to shower Coming after this. Shepherd, he uncovered Sarah's plan, defeated the Geth army, and died in the final days of the fight. Or did he? Witnesses report seeing him alive on a bit. So yes. Find you get the best. You doing alright there, buddy? Oh, I love that place. Holy shit. Tell Captain Gabon we not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Borcha on Omega. No, not too many. You stay away. We kill you. Not before I kill you. I don't know a Captain Gabon. Why would I tell him anything? Go away. Talk too much. Gabon stocks get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. Wait now, Gabon's tricks. We leave. Where did you get that fantastic new visor? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Herod's. Oh, I love that place. But no okay, then. Herod only sold stuff for men. Oh, no. Herod has something for everyone. He also sold me this spice rack shaped like a mom. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvage parts. I know. That's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep walking. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to Hera, I'll deal with it then. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. <laughs> you can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. 1,000 credits? I can give you that. Should I or shouldn't I? Shepard's looking very sinister there. I mean, if you really want to do it, I'll watch Why does Herod control your prices? Herod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, maybe I'll get off this station after all. You better than just paying me. Near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. Marsh. Why does Herod control your prices? Herod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. 
I could go talk to Herrick for you. His shop's up the ramp, near where Mars sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Okay. I'd be happy to buy stuff from him. Please, uh, not, don't stand, like, right behind me. Where is the stuff? Oh, wait, there we go. Heavy weapon ammo. These are quite expensive. Power cell technology used by heavy weapons fairly old, but it can be improved by rebuilding the core with more modern components. These improvements allow standard power cells to yield more shots per power cell and allow for more total shots to be fired. Uh, shotgun damage, weapon upgrade, increases damage by 10%, improved shotguns, heavy shotguns, and assault shotguns for your entire squad. This upgrade improves the weapon's mass effect field generator, increasing the mass effect, uh, the mass and acceleration of each round fired. Medium range self-automatic rifle effective against armor, I can't really use that. Shields and barriers are upgrade the Avenger assault rifle. Okay, the Matok is a semi-automatic hybrid weapon with an assault rifle's low heat uh, production and a sniper rifle's punch. Though it does not have a sniper rifle's precision scope, Marksman favor it. its increased power over that of an assault rifle to bring down hardened, tar hardened targets. Its lack of a full auto setting is advertised as a feature rather than a shortcoming since it curbs a soldier's tendency to spray inaccurate fire under stress. Okay. Geth Plasma Shotgun. This sounds pretty cool. This three-barreled Geth weapon fires miniature but potent cluster rounds of superconducting projectiles and has a longer range than standard shotguns. A two-stage trigger system allows for either quick-fire capacitors or a charge and release attack to electrify the projectiles as they exit the weapon. As the rounds hit the target, they fragment and electricity arcs arcs between the pieces, uh, flash converting the air to conductive plasma. The resulting impact, heat and electrical charge overloads shields and barriers, causes massive trauma to un armored targets. Okay. I'll leave those a little bit Return to the engineers, okay. I got it. Okay, this... is... how you get there, I guess? I guess I'll go back to... up the stairs. And shake down this guy. Are you... No? No. Where is this guy? Parrot's Emporium, where are you? There it is. Oh, you're Harrod. Hmm. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? <laughs> Good work with that quarian. Tell me about your deal with the quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. Hmm. I mean, he seemed pretty nice. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out his store? Intrigued. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited. I have plans to expand. 
On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian Child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. Huh. Damn, I should have done that first before buying stuff. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Most with pride. I have things. Courteously. Have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. At least that's cheaper. Like 5k off, it looks like. Not too bad. I'll just save that. Yeah, I guess, um, Renegade isn't so bad after all. Is that just random screaming I heard? It's probably just my imagination. I wonder if he wanted to lie to you, he would, he would start lying. Probably. Or he'd say, like, I don't know, telling the truth. Oh. Ken's actually just gone. What's up here? Ah. Back this way. <laughs> Deceiving. I am happy to see you, Shepard. Deceiving. I am happy to see you, Shepard. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Ugh. Oh, this is Gavorn. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorchet Task Force. Got something to report? What's your job here exactly? Keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. What's your job Keep here? Keep the exactly? Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. I'll just be going. Keep moving. Okay. I wonder why they don't like him. Hmm. Don't you know who I am? I don't know who you are. <laughs> In a matter of fact, no. Didn't like Alright, let's see what's like further down this way here. So we've been up to here and I've kind of stopped here both times, so I guess I'll go to the VIP area first. I think that's closed off, but I'll I'll check it out anyways. There's the quarantine zone. this door VIP section of the club for those with the right name do you want something I'd like to join the party this really isn't your kind of place afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music what do you want I'd like to join the party this really isn't your kind of place okay. what do you want I don't want anything at all check out afterlife's main floor I thought that was like someone just laying there. <clears throat> Alright, let's head uh, to Afterlife. We'll go to the lower area and we'll loop around to Aria. And yeah. Imagine this. Is it this way? Yeah, it is that way. Why do these guys look so like that? Are they like really dumb or something? Yeah, 
You ain't having a good time. Alright, what have we got here? ago, Omega was my rock. When Ari arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. Why? What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, hmm. she was strong. She sounds pretty crazy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories there are is now. Why do they call you Patriot? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor. Damn. And a trophy. I should be going. I'd go. Okay, I don't really see too much here. Side to side, Bob. I'll have a look around just before I order a drink. Just want to take in the sights while I'm sober. He's enjoying himself. You know, I thought I'd be, um, I thought it'd be spiked, that's why I didn't want to order one, damn it, I don't feel so great. How much did I drink? One drink, that's all it takes, that racist Batarian bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega, don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Well, I guess I'm... Thanks for telling me that, I guess. What was it, like 110% alcohol or something? Oh, Jesus. 
Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. I mean, breathing the air probably makes us feel very sick. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. Hmm. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. Okay, I will. <laughs> so I started blasting. Okay. I didn't like this place anyway. Do I know you? No, no, humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. What? What? You drank? You shut the tent! Wait, you don't want me to. Now, drink it. I... no, you can't. I... Drink it, or I'll blind you one eye at a time. I'm drinking another one. Well, I cleaned up the body real quick. The master deserved what he got. That he did. Thank you. Go somewhere quieter. The Turian hierarchy has announced that it will not limit its dreadnought production to previous totals, citing an increased need for security in the wake of the deaths of previous councils. This is Arya's crib? No. Not quite yet. Elena Blake? Drinking some of that blue stuff. Commander Shepard? Is that you? I, I oh, heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you to remember. Isn't she Removed that assassin? Two criminal warlords That's from it. power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. One's a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, hmm. believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. <laughs> Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. It's pretty good. And if you skim a little off the top, no one's the wiser, right? Please, Commander, there's no angle. It doesn't take a saint to see that people here are hurting. That's right. I can play Omega's game and maybe do some good around here. That's the only angle. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. It's good to see another character here. I have to go. Of course. Wonder if she'll actually have like important things to do. have more to do, or that's all we'll see of her. That's yeah, that's pretty cool though. I'm not talking to Arya just yet. I don't know where she is though. No recruiter. Okay, well. Oh, you have to go to Upper Afterlife, I think. Up there is where she is. I'm busy. Okay. I'll leave you alone then. Who are you? Are you 
gonna poison me. Three drinks if I die then Yeah. One more. Man, this is actually making me thirsty. just gonna like collapse okay I knew a bar out on the front a lot like this me and some friends got stupid one night long story short tempers fled followed by pistols we all got out except my buddy Narco places like this are slaughterhouses dressed as nightclubs I shit you not <laughs> I guess so Hello, Andrew. He's talking. Okay. Hi, Andrew. Aren't you supposed to be a bodyguard? Strangely open. That's close enough. Okay. Stand still. Try it and you'll be skating the inside of your colon. I'd almost pay to see that, but it's not an option. You want to talk, you get scanned. All you had to do was ask. I don't ask. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. I am Omega. Oh my god. <laughs> but you need more. Everyone needs more something and they all come to me. I'm the boss CEO queen if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I was gonna say you clearly haven't heard of uh, Shepard either. I was uh, blown to smithereens. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship that would matter. Here, we entertain my Okay. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. <laughs> Sounds perfect. This is the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. Okay. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help me. That could be our way in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. 
What can you tell me about Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Okay. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate. Hey. But I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. <laughs> Thank you so much for the hydration redeem box. Um, I've just got to grab some more water since I'm out right now. So I'll be right back. That won't be too long. And I'm back. All right. My room is very hot. <laughs> My streaming room. So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. Okay. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. <laughs> he just leans back. Short answer? Mind your own damn business. Okay, I will. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Okay, fair enough. I think I've got I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. Hmm. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. How do I get into the... I'm looking for Morden Soul. The Solarian Doctor? I always liked Morden. He's as likely How do I get to if him? you really need to find him. Take a okay. shuttle to the quarantine zone. I guess. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. Will do. Um. I guess I'll talk to the mercenaries for yeah. Finding. Archangel. Uh, I guess I wanted to get Morden first, so I'll go do that now, and after that I'll probably finish up the stream. Let's do it. Uh, but first.
first I'll gear up. So I'll go back to the Normandy and change my equipment. Uh, if anyone in the chat knows if there's a quicker way to change my equipment, then please feel free to let me know. You received a new message at your private terminal. Uh, I won't open that just yet. I want to use this. That sounds cool. Weapons locker, this is just the armory. How do I actually change my armor? What is main menu? I'll just save it first. Let's probably quit. Seems like I have to go somewhere. No messages for you, Commander. Guess I'll go back to my quarters and see if I can change stuff there. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm a walker. Supplies say about the power level. <sighs> That's a little bit too big to crush in my hand. Only half of my face gets COVID. It does look pretty dorky. But anyone who'd laugh at me would be dead. If they can see me, I already saw them. Why is that so red? 
Can I not have, like, racing stripes on me? Alright. Let's go get the professor. Let's go to the quarantine zone. No messages for you, Commander. Just said those messages for me. How's your day been so far, Sadia? Minus the uh, the car issues. That doesn't sound too great. I get rid of that. Oh, I'll skip through that. Uh, take you and you. Oh, I can change your appearance. What is this? She's got like a visor on her face. Let's go. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. All right, let's go see the professor. The human alliance maintains a majority share of forces. Quarantine zone. The Shepherd Memorial on Akuz is expected to open next year once the area is declared safe. Not here. Oh, here. Yeah. Complaining is pointless, human. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. Uh, we can't go in? So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. The gangs? I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilope calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. You can't go in? So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. You can't yes. keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Yep. The plague. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? <laughs> you son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. A grenade launcher? Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Yeah. I'm double vaxxed, baby. We need guns to shoot the plague. You look like you've had... Had a rough time. And they just stand right behind you. Alright, 
let's let's have a good look around. Don't shoot, they're clear to come in. Okay. Oh. <laughs> they know who I am. Some credits, nice. Hundred. Can buy like a lollipop. Maybe. <laughs> Good luck in there. Blue suns and Borcha shooting anything that moves. Okay, I will have to shoot them. Let's go. Nice shot. Man, the AIs are a lot better in this. They don't like jerk around all over the place. Take control of its most basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens if you just leave something to run rampant. And don't quarantine. But then again, like, yeah, rats and stuff can carry it as well. Rodents. Let's hack this bank terminal. Find the matching code segments, locate and select the code that matches the code displayed at the top left corner of the screen. Avoid red codes, find all matches. Um, before the time runs out to hack through security. So it's that one. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. What? Oh, I was not supposed to press left. Whoops. I just go straight for it, don't I? Wait, that was it? Oh, damn it. That's it. I wish coding was that easy. I think that's the way forward. Human should have guessed. <coughs> Bad Please. enough to infect us with this plague. Now you have the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Humans didn't create this plague. Lies trip from your mouth, like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Vorcha. Wouldn't that be the Vorcha then? Is there anything I can do for you? Get away okay, from buddy. Me, human. <coughs> Mind has done too much already. What do you mean, your kind? Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morton Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you. <coughs> I hope. <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. <coughs> I doubt oh, well. he could have helped us anyway. Let's move. <laughs> Damn, Miranda. Spitting facts. I was about to say I did all I could, but... That's the way forward. So I'll go this way. Can bypass that door, looks like. Hundred credits. You can buy two lo lollipops now. Mm 
Okay. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Cards go. Sounds just like COVID. Plague too, buddy. Gotta get out of here before he infects me too. Davis died last night. He's still talking to me though. Okay. Good to hear his voice. The company is nice. Nobody should die alone. This professor. Another door to bypass. Wait, what? Okay, I'm guessing that's it. Oh, unlock this. Since it's on the way. I'm sure it's like nothing important here. Oops. That was not good. Is this one? No, it's not. Okay. Check them before I like click on them. <laughs> this man also didn't have a good time. Incoming. Oh, 
Gott, das müsste gehen. Oh mein Gott, das müsste gehen. Ja, that guy died. Yeah, we're not sure in the head. Switch up. Wait, where will the ammo go? Did it just disappear? I guess it did. As if I can't grab the ammo because they were crouching on the... the heck? We can use this. Nice. Okay, let's go this way first. That looks like the way forward. Apartments. friendly hello oh thank god you're human when we saw that door open we thought those Turians had found us ever since this plague started the blue suns have been out to get us they're killing as many people as the disease why are they after you why are the blue suns hunting you we didn't do anything pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead they think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. Yeah, that's why the, um, nah, can't be. I say, maybe that's why the Collectors are kidnapping humans, but I, I doubt it. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Hmm. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. Hmm. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Damn. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. 
A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't hmm. think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Sense heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. <laughs> then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian special forces or something. Man, this guy sounds cool. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morgan's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. Cowering in this apartment might keep you alive for a while, but if the mercs don't get you, starvation will. Easy for you to say. You're a soldier armed to the teeth. We're just ordinary people. Yeah, you're making it out like we're cowards or something. A coward accepts death instead of fighting to stay alive. If you want to survive, you're going to have to earn it. I'm taking out every Vorchen Blue Suns group I find along the way to Morden's clinic. But I can't hold your hand while I'm waging war in the streets. Yeah, okay. I guess if you can clear a path, we can follow. Like you said, it's our only chance. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Okay. Morden's one of my favorite uh, favorites in Mass Effect. Great personality. He sounds pretty cool from what I've heard. Make sure you clear a good path for us. We'll wait here until you've cleared a path. When the fighting dies down, we'll head to Morden's clinic. I'm taking that. I should be pretty thorough with clearing everyone. Just gotta clear out some watcher, I guess. how you want to play. Into Vorcha territory. Okay. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. <laughs> Seems like a lot of characters in Mass Effect are pretty cool, to be honest. Hey, 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 back off. 
We got here first. Do you want to be like that? Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. I don't like looters as I've been like looting everyone's vault. Even people that are still alive. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Yeah. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? Yes. I've killed people for love. Oh. Uh, I don't think he's kidding, man. Whoa, hold on a minute. Nobody needs to shoot nobody. We're stopping, okay? We just wanted to make a quick buck. It ain't worth getting killed over. We're done. Seriously, I swear. <laughs> Do you know a Solarian named Morton Solis? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Voitcher. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. <laughs> what do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all... I don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. Uh, understood. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vulture finish him off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see him go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. No Don't worry, you made your point. Think. We ain't gonna steal nothing. I wonder why they think Vorcha can't, like, formulate plans. Maybe we'll find out, I guess, at the end of this. I think I came from there. Some ammo, nice. Welcome. Yeah, I just came from there, I think. So all of this go down. Maybe I came from. Yeah, that's, not, that's just where I came from. I saw a couple of them come from here, but it's a dead end, it looks like. I think that's the way forward. That map uh, objective thing is a little bit off, it seems like. Clinic is this way. I assume there's gonna be more. Oh. No, we're here. No funny business once you're in the clinic. Unless you want to deal with those mechs. Alright. Noted. Done. Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Alright, we'll do. 
Centurion Patient. Decontamination. Door. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to get shot down. That was a worrying noise. Not doing too well either. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. Okay, so it's curable. Professor, we're running low on tapoxidin. Use melanorin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in batarians. Supplement with butemerol. Now near it. Got it. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not have a more? Inferno armor, eh? Now what's this? Oh, nice. Made your capacity up. Just looting his stuff. Casually. Alright, let's talk to Morden. Professor Morton Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldier. Not Love sight. of God, take a breath. I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? <laughs> I should probably just tell him Cerberus sent us. Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only work with humans. Why request Salarian aid? Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Okay. Just once, I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, sure, let's go, right now, no strings attached. Life is a negotiation. We all want, we all give, to get what we want. That sounded troubling. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone, need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from dead blue sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing, Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. <laughs> okay, if I eye see eye. him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. <laughs> I hope. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but okay. theory fits evidence. What can you tell me about this plague? Mm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variants. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. Hmm. I guess so. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients.
Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. Hmm. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. <laughs> Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. <laughs> oh my god. This dude's hardcore. <laughs> Let's head for the environmental plant. Okay. Let's restore the power, I guess. It's a shame about the um, ammo capacity for sniper rifles. I wish I had more. Yeah, let's see where is that armory. Let's change out the pistol. Highly accurate and lethal sidearm, effective against armor, weak against shields and biotic barriers, upgrades a predator heavy pistol. Okay. Uh, the kind effects is a favored sidearm for of mercenaries leaders and eclipse mercenary tech specialists. An expensive but powerful weapon, its marketing materials feature a charging Krogan with the slogan, don't you wish kind effects was at your side? I mean, you've got me. I'll take 10 for each finger. One for each finger, I should say. Alright, I guess um, I go this way. This is probably the safest place in the district right now. We intend to keep it that way. Alright, let's dance. Nice. Here we gotcha. go. Got too. Is there anyone else there? That's fire. might be more. Alright. At least the sound levels are nicer for this game. Last one, the uh, the gun noises were so damn loud. Explosive container, I think. Here we go. Nice. Okay, there's some medijol over there. Let's go grab that. Uh, 
Okay. Let's hold on to this. Should make things a little bit easier. Gambling terminal. Let's hack it. How's the difficulty? I remember you ran, you played ME1 on Veteran. Oh, okay. I don't know. remember that. Um, it's on normal right now, and I think it's okay. I don't think it's too bad. It's fairly, like, straightforward, and... Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Do I get anything extra for playing on hard difficulties? The gameplay is a lot better than Mass Effect 1, I gotta say. Controls actually feel normal, the performance is good. Yeah, no no complaints really. Whoops, that one. It's supposed to go down twice. But I only went down once. But that's okay. 5,000 credits, nice. 5,000 credits. Probably a more rewarding combat on higher difficulty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh. I do kind of want to just go through this. Enemies in front! Like, frame dead, like that. Some fights can be de done pretty quick on normal, yeah. Like that. Warning. Is something flashing. Let's grab it. Okay. This is a holographic panel. Oh my god. He's already dead. Okay, the back Nice. Broken charging! Enemy down! Whatever, right? Let's see exits. Explosive canisters here. And that's where I came from. That looks like there's a room down here too. 
Ah, this whole way. Damn. I think there was a room back there though. I think. Let me just double check. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Signal henchman. <laughs> Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go when you walk away. God! You must think Latarians are stupid. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him, I do the same to you. <laughs> let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? <laughs> no, I can't trust you. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna, gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... Well, no, everything. everything. You're welcome, buddy. Cool, managed to get him. So let's turn that ventilation on. Uh, good thing I went back, eh? Did I come from here before? Looks like I did. Yeah, I remember going through there. I think that might have been the only door I missed. Uh, if I can change to veteran, I might give it a go on the next stream. Um, hopefully I could start a bit earlier too, because uh, I had to start a bit late today. Seems like Uber Eats is getting hammered. Control is this way. Uh, the next stream will be in two days from now. I am aware Monster Hunter Rise is out, but I will be still streaming my normally scheduled stuff. I'll probably just post up like a text only schedule or something on Discord. And yeah. that okay one way straight it seems where did I even come from before I will probably end the stream after I get the ventilation on the environmental controls should be nearby we need to insert the cure then reactivate the fans Okay. Ah, 
You don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. What did the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Trouble ahead. Now let's go. Just barely missed that. Okay. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Gotcha. It is not this way. <laughs> uh, I'll see if there's anything on the other side though, just in case. Let's see, what do we have? way back and way forward. I don't know what I expected. Alrighty. Let's insert this cure. It's not going to insert itself. Any laptops to read? Nope. Excellent. The cure is in place. Now we need to reactivate the fan. Oh, fan one. Okay. I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room you're in now. Gotcha. Fan one. Ooh. That's not very nice. <laughs> A lot more satisfying than shooting them in the head. Gets two of them too. And there's the fan controls. This fan is powering back up. We still need to activate the other one. And here come more of them. Can't see me. I'm boring an impact shot. side and turn on those fans. Or fan number two. Right behind you. Just change to this pistol. If it'll let me. Nope. Whoa, what the heck was that?
Alright. Easy. I took my sleeping medication, so I'm a bit loopy. That's probably why. All clear here. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. <laughs> I thought about it. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. <laughs> Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots <laughs> execute of work to do. them. Think about what I said. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. <laughs> I honored my part of the bargain, Professor. Now you need to do the same. Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm going to look around for a moment. Okay. Hold F2 and the mission. Just I need to finish up here this. at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm going to look around for a moment. I'll probably um, comb through the area next time. Um, there was that family, the, the couple before it as well. I want to see if they're around and if I actually managed to clear the path to here successfully or not. Anyway, finally got started on Mass Effect 2. It's been heaps of fun. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for keeping me company. It's, as always, it's been a real pleasure hanging out with everyone. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed the stream and I hope you all had a lovely night as well. Um, and yeah, thank you, Sadir, for the tier one sub and congratulations on your two month streak. Uh, I guess I'll look for someone to raid now. I'm just going to open up Firefox. Uh, just so you guys can't hear the chat, or oh, well, the, the sound. And yeah, I'll look for someone who's playing Mass Effect as well, and I'll throw you their way. And I guess while that's going on, I'll have a look at Twitch and see if there's anyone I know that I know that's streaming too. Alrighty. Oh, actually, Liff is streaming. I might send you guys over there. He's playing Gunfire. Gunfire is a really cool game. Um, I am pretty tired, so I won't be able to stay around and talk much, but please uh, drop by and say hi. Okay, hopefully this is the right person. Alright, I'll just pause this, and... Problem sign the raid. Please try again in a minute. Hmm. I guess he doesn't have raids open or something. Oh, Cyrus is playing, uh, or is just doing chess chatting. Let's have a see what he's doing. Uh, maybe I'll just, I'll have a look for someone playing Mass Effect. I'll be careful with spoilers, so, um. Hmm. Actually, nah, maybe I won't. Yeah, I think I'll just send you guys over to Cyrus's place. He's a pretty good dude. Um. Let me just grab his details. There we go. Cool. Uh, now the countdown has started. 
Well, once again, thank you all so much for coming to watch. It's been real fun. I really look forward to um, continuing it on Wednesday. Tomorrow I'll be having a drawing stream, probably just a two-hour one. And I'll try and see if I can do something in the Discord during the day. Otherwise, um, I hope to see you guys there. And I hope everyone has a lovely night. Take care of yourselves and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.